At first, I'm just using plain sand as the substrate for my desert scorpion pets. Just sand. Then I noticed that scorpions don't live on plain sand. Well, some of them do live on sand dunes, but they also live on scrublands. Now let's try to google desert scorpions habitat. Let's try one species that I have, Parabuthus transphalicus. It says habitat, hot and dry deserts and scrublands. Let's try one other species, Leurus quinquestriatus, the death stalker scorpion. It says can be found in desert and scrublands. Now let's see what a scrubland looks like. There it is. I see some nice texture there on the soil. Here's another one. So I don't know about you guys, but I find scrubland soil is more appealing to the eyes than just desert plain sand. Because it has more texture, it has varieties of small grain-like texture up to rough rock texture. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, let's do one more search on Google, just to make sure and give me a picture of what we're going to make. Desert Scorpion Habitat. Let's try to mimic these scrubland substrates we just saw. So after doing some research, I think there are many ways of making the scrubland soil. I mean the ingredients are not limited to what I will use, but I'm just going to use the most available resources I can get near where I live. So the substrate will consist of three things. And the first one I'm using is one part of cocoa peat and potting soil mixture, one part of clay powder. This is actually clay powder that is usually used for making pottery and it's 100% natural, so I think it's fine to use it. You can also use excavator clay, I think. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to spray the stuff tray and then mix it several times. This is to create clumps of the mixture because clay will stick and harden if it touches water. And the last ingredients I use is one part of red volcanic sand. This one is to add more texture to the substrate because as you can see it has a nice texture in it. Okay, that was just a test to see if the result would be exactly as I imagined. And turns out it's pretty close. So one part of each ingredient is fine. Now I'll make a bigger proportion of each and I will just do a time lapse of it. So enjoy! <laughs> 